So for starters today, uh, we're gonna do our uh, progressive marches to warm up. So your feet are gonna be hip width apart to start. And for progressive marches, I always start with just a slight lean side to side, not bringing my foot up off the ground, just to kind of assess where we are on our uh, awareness and space with our balance. So nice and easy. Although it does seem easy, this is just as important as the harder drills we will do. So nice and carefully feel that shift. We're gonna move just a tiny bit up now so you can kind of bring your heel off the ground. Again, slightly shifting, just a little bit more weight side to side. Having your hand near that chair in case you need it for some support or comfort. Perfect, a little bit more now. You can kind of bring your foot off the ground actually. So just a touch. Again, this is still just as important as the harder drills. It's just getting us primed for them. We'll go ahead and move up a little bit further, trying to bring that foot roughly up to your shin, holding for a split second, slowly coming down, nice and controlled. Good. And now the hardest variation, at least with this starting one, coming up to where your thigh is parallel to the ground, slowly coming back down, coming down, and uh, again, whatever variation you can go at the highest, hold for a second and then come down, that's what you're gonna wanna stick with for yourself for today. Perfect, let's go ahead and relax on the marches for the second. We'll do some more in a little bit. Feet are gonna be together, we're gonna do our eyes closed hold. So with your hand near that chair, feet together, go ahead and join me in very slowly closing your eyes, trying to sense your feet on the ground, trying to not move a muscle as you hang on tight for 15 more seconds. Five more seconds. And open your eyes, very nice. Okay, progressing into a little bit more difficulty of a march variation. Next, we're gonna do what I call reverse hurdle. So you're gonna have an imaginary fence or hurdle behind you. And in this position, you're going to imagine stepping up and over that hurdle, and then stepping back up and over, repeating on both legs, okay? So whatever your balance capabilities are, if you're a little bit more advanced, you can have a bigger hurdle, a little bit uh, less on the advanced side. Smaller hurdles, totally okay. We're really just trying to make sure we are opening our hips and changing our center of gravity. That's the big thing here. Not necessarily how, how, the, how high the hurdle is, excuse me. It's just moving through a different plane of motion on one foot. We're gonna do this for 15 more seconds. See if you can get a couple more reaches on both sides. Good, let's go ahead and relax on that position. <clears throat> the next drill we're gonna do is what I call clock taps. So this one involves you starting with both feet together, and then you're gonna have an imaginary clock around you, 12 o'clock, one, two, three, all the way around. And you can start on either clockwise or counterclockwise, it doesn't matter. But essentially you're going to be tapping with one foot up on to the first hour, second hour, third hour, and then essentially you're just going all the way around the clock if you can visualize that. And the thing about this, make sure you are keeping most of your weight in that stable foot. That's gonna be the key here. Most of the weight's gonna be in that stable foot. Tell people about 80% of the weight's gonna be in that foot, so we really are practicing the strength and stability to be on one leg. Good, let's go ahead and break from there, take a breath. I know those get kind of dicey in the uh, legs and quads. And move to the other side. We're gonna do same exact concept, either clockwise or counterclockwise based off of what you did to begin with. Opposite foot, nice and carefully down. Five more seconds. Good, let's go ahead and relax on that one. We're gonna do our final march variation. This is one of the tougher drills we do in this class. This one involves two specific movements. I'll show you them 
uh, and then we'll do them all together. First movement's just gonna be a march as high as you can, just like we did at the beginning. And then it moves into a reverse lunge where you go back and down as low as you can. You do not have to go this low. This just goes to show you if you can go that low, feel free to, okay? We're gonna do one leg, take a few breaths, do the other leg, go ahead and join me whenever you're ready. Up with the march, back for a nice lunge as low as you can go. This is very challenging on your balance, core strength and leg strength. So feel free to have your hand near that chair in case you need it. Go as low as you can. We're not comparing ourselves to others or even me. This is your own journey. We got 10 more seconds here. Keep breathing for me, looking good. All right, everyone come to the top. We're all gonna take three collective breaths together. I know it's a very challenging one for your muscles and uh, cardiovascular system. Big breath in, relax, good. Breathe, relax, one more, breathe, relax, very nice. We're gonna repeat on the other side, of course, same exact concept, coming up as high as you can, coming back down as low as you can. That back position is gonna be where it really challenges your balance even more. So slow and controlled is the name of the game here. All the way up, all the way down. Good, 10 more seconds. Let's see if we can get two more all together. Beautiful, drive through that leg. Three more breaths, let those muscles relax. Man, they're on fire. Breathe in, exhale, in, exhale. One more, in, exhale, very nice. Let's all find a black line. We'll all find a black line. Um, we don't need too much space, about five feet of the line will be perfect. We're just gonna do a little heel to toe walking. So for this position, what you're gonna do is a heel to toe walk. So two variations, either a full heel to toe walk if you can handle it. Otherwise, a half heel to toe step walk is totally fine as well. Whatever variation is comfortable and available for you to do. We're gonna do this for the next 30 seconds. Don't go backwards if you can go backwards. Flip around and just go forwards for this one. And then we'll do a backwards one in just a second. Fifteen more seconds. All right, go ahead and move back to your chair. From here, what we are going to do is a couple different variations. So if you are really comfortable going backwards, heel to toe on this line like that, you can try that in the same distance you were doing. If that's too tough, we're just gonna stand on the line and do kind of a one step back, recount, one step back, recount, okay? It's a little bit easier than just doing all in succession, so step, back, step. Otherwise, if you're able to, feel free to do it all the way backwards. This will be more challenging. Uh, find the variation that works for you. 30 seconds here, let's go. Fifteen more seconds. All right, go ahead and relax. So next part of this, we're going to do a little bit of agility and footwork stuff. So agility is super important in reducing the risk of falls. If you're able to catch yourself and move quickly, the fall won't happen. So that's why we do a lot of agility stuff in my classes. This drill is what I call balance catches. So it involves you leaning forward as far as you can, feeling the weight shift into your toes. And then right before you feel like you're gonna fall, you're going to put your foot out and catch yourself, okay? So I'm gonna do it at full speed for what it looks like for me. Lean, catch, okay? You're moving as fast as you can. It's gonna look a lot different for everyone depending on where your levels are. Might be a little slower or a little bit faster. Start on one foot and we will shift to the other foot in just a second. 15 seconds on this drill. Lean and catch. 
Lean and catch. The further you lean, the tougher this will be, the faster you'll have to move. Finish one more repetition for me. And then after that, come back, take a breath. We'll of course repeat on the other leg. Same concept, lean, catch forward, lean, catch forward. Big, quick movements here. The faster you can go, the better on this one. We're really trying to challenge our body to be able to move quickly again. A lot of us, we lose some of that athleticism after uh, high school and stuff, maybe when we stop sports, but it's important at all ages to be able to move fast. All right, good. Go ahead and relax from there. The next roll we're going to do is similar in the regard, but it's going to be a little more fluid. Okay, so it's kind of Tai Chi-esque, but we're going to go a little bit quicker. Um, so how this is going to work is like those clock taps we did earlier, except instead of keeping most of the weight in your stable leg, you're actually going to be leaning forward into the front. So it's going to be just like the clock, except you are leaning all your weight into it. So it's kind of like a mini lunge, but it's going all the way around your entire body, okay? So lean back, push off it, lean back. Bunch of different planes of motion here, challenging your balance, core strength, leg strength, a lot going on. Good work for us. Five more seconds. Beautiful. Go ahead and take a breath at the top. We'll repeat on the other leg. Make sure you have enough space around you too before you do it. That is a big key here. So same exact concept, leaning into that leg, catching yourself once again, but then driving off of it, using that strength to push yourself back up into position as you go all the way around in that clock fashion. Ten more seconds here. Good. Go ahead and relax from that position. Very nice. A couple more drills left. You guys are doing super good. Feet are going to be together again. We're going to do uh, freestanding calf raises. So, again, ideally you're keeping your feet together. It will be harder, though, the closer your feet are. This one involves coming up on your tiptoes, trying to hold for a split second, slowly coming down, up on your tiptoes, and down. If that's too hard, you can widen your base. It's a lot easier that way. But if you can do it, I'd encourage you to keep your feet together. That's going to be much, much uh, tougher on your balance, and of course, why we are here to challenge that. Up, down, one more, up, down. We're gonna do the same drill again, but this time we are just gonna hold it, okay? So you're going to come up, and we're going to try collectively, see if we can get about 15 seconds. Again, do your best here. If you need to hold on to something, no shame. Relax. Very nice. Two more drills. It's actually going to be one drill, but we'll do it um, on different legs. So we're going to move into our split stance. So you're going to take a big step forward. We're just going to do some left and right lean so your arms are going to be to the side here again that split stance taking a very large step forward very carefully lean to the right good opposite side whatever that looks like for you good back up into position go ahead and step back take a big large step forward on the other leg same exact concept Leaning towards that one side. Leaning towards the other side. Back up. Very nice. We'll move into a little bit of cool down for a stretch. We're going to start with a forward fold. Feet are going to be hip width apart. You're going to imagine holding a heavy weight in front of you and letting that weight pull you deep into the ground as far as you can go. In this position, take a big breath in. Let that weight pull you deeper. 
Now we're going to sit up nice and slowly, no rush at all, feeling that back. Release. Our hands now are coming up to the sky as high as we can, almost like we're waking up in the morning. Feeling that body lengthen, trying to feel the stretch through our entire body. Slight lean towards one direction. Keep breathing here. Other side. Good. Come down. Back. Take a breath. Very nice. We'll move back into our split stance, but this one's going to be for a stretch. So one foot forward and a big step. Your back heel will be planted firmly into the ground. Both toes will be pointing forward. And we're going to lean that front knee forward while keeping our chest up. Back heel being in the ground is going to really work that calf as we breathe. Good. Relax. Very nice. Other side, same concept. Big step forward. Back heel on the ground, front knee pushing forward, standing up nice and tall. We'll all take a breath together in. And out, very nice. Go ahead and come up off that position. We're gonna come behind our chair now. We're gonna do a few things behind here. First thing we're gonna do, grabbing the top of that chair, take a couple steps back. Push that butt straight backwards. Gently push your head through that hole that your hands have created. And in this position, allow your shoulders, upper back, and chest to open up with a big breath in. Big breath out. Gently coming up from that position, taking another breath as you come to the top. And from here, we'll move into our side splits position. So instead of split stance forward, side splits. And from this one, we're going to do a side lunge or a Kozak lunge. You can hold on if you need to. You can go free if you want to. Just a really slight bend with one knee to one side. You're going to feel a very gentle stretch on your inner thigh. If you do this right, I'll come in front so you can see me. So you should feel a gentle stretch through here if you're doing this right. The wider the split stance, the better you'll feel this. Go ahead and come up to the other side. Very gentle, tiny bit of knee bend. Doesn't need to be a lot. Tiny bit of a stretch here. Let's take a big breath in. Big breath out, very nice. Last one we're gonna do is just a little bit of an ankle mobility. We're gonna stick one foot out. Just a couple ankle twirls here to give ourselves a little bit of cool down with all that ankle work we did with the balance drills. And other side, same thing. Very nice. And relax from that position. Good work, everyone. Thank you for coming. If you're interested in getting one of these shirts, I have these on my website, so just let me know and I can uh, get you some contact info for that. Otherwise, good work. We'll see you next time.